Hey everyone, Josh here from LaMarzoco. This video is gonna talk about programming auto volumetrics in your LaMarzoco machine. This video specifically though, is gonna focus on machines in our lineup that utilize the Luminaire 4. You can tell that by it's the ones that have the three buttons set up to program your shots. Basically a Linea PAB, a Strata, a KB90, or the Modbar PAB. So before we go in, let's talk about what programming in auto volumetrics actually means. In AB mode, you're telling the machine to dispense a certain amount of pulses during your shot. Pulses, totally. Is pulse a gram? Is it like a quarter of an ounce? Like, what's a pulse? Wham. This is called a flow meter. So they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Any of our machines that have AV controls on them will have a form of this inside, either inside of the group head itself or externally leading up to it. That water has to flow through this before it comes out of your group head. So let's break it down and talk about what's actually happening inside of this thing. Here's your close-up top-down view of a flow meter. You'll have arrows on here, and that represents the pathway that water's traveling as it goes through and exits the other side towards your coffee. If you see in the top of here, there are two electrical leads. Those are getting power supplied by the board, and when energized, it creates a magnetic field. We'll get into that in a second. But you pop it open, and we'll see this little plastic impeller. Basically, water fills each cavity through pressure from the pump, it spins around and then it goes out the other side towards your coffee. Now, if you see on the top of here, there are two little dots. Those are actually magnets. What the flow meter is doing is every time there is a rotation in this impeller, it is registering as a pulse. So 300 pulses means this wheel has spun around 300 times. And the amount of water that can fill each of these spaces is very consistent. So AV tends to be a very accurate way to measure output of shots. Now, let's take all that wordy info and actually apply it to pulling shots and programming your machine. Before we get into programming, let's just talk about the buttons and how we refer to them. On the Strata, they're arranged in a triangle, but on the other machines, they're three in a row. The first button you have will refer to as the single cup button. The second is the double cup, and the last is the continuous flow. When accessing the menu, the single cup scrolls to the left, the double cup scrolls to the right, and the continuous flow is enter. To access the barista programming mode, hold down the continuous flow button on the leftmost group head for about three seconds. Then the group dose settings window will be the first menu item to appear. Once into programming mode, hit enter on group dose settings and then enter again to program volume doses. Now you can pull your shot. Place in your portafilter, slide over a scale, grab a cup, tear out your scale to zero, and then hit the desired button that you'd like to program and start your shot. Stop your shot about three grams prior to your desired end weight by re-hitting the same button you used to start your shot. Save your work by hitting the continuous flow button and then scroll to exit on the screen. There are other options in the programming tree that we'll talk about in other videos, including adjusting pulses one at a time, copy and pasting your doses from button to button, and also how each group head has four programmable settings using either a short hold or a long hold. And there you go. That's how you program auto volumetrics on your Bomber Zoko. So we really hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions regarding it, please shoot us a comment. And also let us know if there's anything else that you've been always wondering that you want us to do another video on. We'd love to hear from you. Stay safe out there. 